Testing, testing. Right, blah blah blah. Oh, what's that doing there? Let's put that on the keyboard or something. Guess that'll do. Right. So I'm busy working on this big data conversion, which I could not do without TLX. Um, Uh, I'm not state parser. Indom tree. X amount, X amount, X Right, I want to try to do a really long shift, like 12 hours, and just do massive progress on this data, because I'm now, you know, I've seriously picked up steam on this conversion, so, and it's the weekend, so the users are not on the database, which really helps from a number of respects. Um, Because the, the scripts I'm running edit tens of thousands of entries at a time easily. And that slows down the database for the other users. But it's also, every time I run scripts, I need to do, um, let's create a sync point. What do we call it? Wonderful plus streaming start sync point. Okay. So every time I must run scripts that edit the data, I need to be careful that nothing breaks, that the data still looks the same as it used to. And to do that, I create snapshots like before and after. Um, not a, a backup as well as a, a sort of instant snapshot in text and HTML format, um, which basically... Uh, is just a little format which TLX generates in the folder um, documents TLX snapshots. I'm not planning on eating either. So yeah, it's just like the ID, entry ID and a tab and the entry text. So what I can do with that is I can do like before and after checks. So like yesterday's sync point. Well, let's just let it finish. So, um, amongst this, there's other ways I also use the integrated diff checking, where I can see all entries, local entries with differences. Um, that's, yeah, that's not, um, so yeah, I'd use a number of tools to, to check that I haven't broken anything when I'm running data remodeling scripts, because I'm converting this. Basically, I started with this data, which looked like this. This was the lemon tree. This data was originally scanned. It was, it was um, the yes. All right. So yeah, these entries originally come from these physical volumes. This is big. All right, that were created 
long ago, before the days of computers, right? So this is D. So this is literally so the the D entry called Darna, you know, was created in this physical volume. Uh, There it is. All right. So this was originally just that in the printed, you know, in this printed typeset, printed and printed book, which is uh, was originally printed. Uh, when was this? 1974. Can that be? No, that must be a reprint. The original print must be older than that. Actually, I'm not sure. The point is that, yeah, it predates... 1947? Oh, wait. This is a... Uh, this, that could be the date of the reprint. Um, It might have been a dendo or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me. The point is, right, so these volumes are all scanned at some point, which I was. Somebody did. Good job. They did a good job of scanning it and converting it into an intermediate electronic format, which must have been a huge job on its own. Um, I can only imagine. I can see the, you know, the effects. Uh, so yeah, it was converted electronically and published electronically in digital format using folio views software. So I got the data and converted it from folio views format at some stage so a few years ago into TLEX format. So the the folio data looks, you know, it looks nice if you look at it but it's not actually well structured internally there's a little bit of structure but not much it's it's a relatively flat list of you know it's a, very, it's a sort of flat list of tags that and there's no automatic punctuation or numbering you know so like the the, the final full stop is just manually a full stop there in the data it's just text and and things like the you know the, carriage returns and tabs were just entities after I converted it from folio. So it was all brought into TLEX, but in this not good DTD, all the element names starting with underscore are the ones that came from folio. So this in amongst the data are entries that were done in the era of computerization from P onwards. And those are well, you know, those are Okay, there's, a, there's an overlapping section, but yeah, they have a well-structured, clean, proper DTD, you know, like things should be done in the age of computers. Right, so there's the overlapping section, which is around R, blah, 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 where there, there were entries in both. But yeah, from A to P was all in this folio, old folio format. So I've been just spending the last few months cleaning it up, and I've really made a lot of improve, improvements and new features to TLEX in the process, like this fancy integrated parser to help identify things in the data and apply rules to remodel them, amongst other things. I used and I, yeah, various other things, also a little bit of XSLT. Um, so that's just what I'm working on. Um, yeah, and now the, the data is... It's sort of an in-progress conversion. So yeah, uh, so basically I run before and after checks after I run sets of scripts so that I can just check I haven't broken anything. And my point was that if the editors are yeah doing edits, it complicates my before and after checking because I'll start a script and then the before on, on the database Oh yeah, those are two fixes I made. So yeah, this new sync point is only two changes from the last one. So I do a simple text comparison really. I can compare 
the previous snapshot to the latest snapshot and then uh, if I see it's identical then I know the output still looks the same so my script hasn't broken anything in terms of how the dictionary publishing is going to look okay I also use this all with diffs so when I make changes in run a script I click all with diffs and it shows the local differences but Sometimes it's better to use that, and sometimes it's better to use that. Normally I'll use a combination of both. Okay, styles. This is the smart style system in TLAX. We can, we can sort of script in rules for the automatic styles using this programming language. Lua that's integrated into TLEX. So I can go in TLEX and say every lemma must be colored differently based on certain rules. Like for now, I just temporarily want all entries that require conversion still to be red and the entries that have been converted fully to display with a green background so that I can quickly see that I quickly see this is green and I know it's done. It's done. Yeah. And that the red ones are the ones I need to do. Um, and the, the thing I want to do now is use my parser this fancy new parser which I'll show you more now oh, do I so what's happening is I've got the TLEX source code here, obviously, in front of me. And uh, as I go, I also make little improvements to TLEX itself, like building in new features to help me do the job. So, so um, yeah, and this, this is from the new parser system, so it shows the matches in the data. But if it's just an error there, I want to see why. So that's the starting point when I started this job. Okay. Uh, warning. Sub element first. Element not count. Oh, yeah, of course, I renamed the element. So sub element first. I just took the underscore of the name just to slightly make it look nicer. All these underscores can look a bit ugly. So let me make that. I didn't think. Yeah, let me make it, maybe make the fonts a bit bigger. To just help with the streaming side. So this filtering system integrates into the, so there's 207,000, almost 207,000 entries in the database, so it's quite a large database, um, and that filter ran and returned, the parser, the filter parser filter returned 691 matches, matching entries, and basically what I'm searching for is simple entries with a simple definition and morphology information because I want to process the morphology field. So that's 700 cases like that. So we can be really specific in what we want and don't want um, with this fancy scripting system. I can look at, take out that morphology information and rerun the script. Um, we should get zero, I think, because I already processed those. Yeah, I'm just doing that as a cross check as well. So I know if I make that one small change to add morphs, I know we go from zero to 694. There's, there's more than 694 matches. 
I know they're exactly 694 matches. Sorry, yeah, but that morphology field is just text right now, and we need to convert it into morphology. So what this parser does, our parser rules, we can define actions for doing things on the data. Um, If I should use morph, morph con for underscore morph. Let's just check how many there are. Entries with limiter elements, element node, and filter all instances. But uh, exclude already converted entries. There's 22,000 entries with lemmaders, so clearly that 700 is not the full, <laughs> full picture. All right, so it's morphs in the etiquette. And where's the etymology? Shit. Oh, there. All right. So yeah, we can. So we can add. We can try that again. And say, be interesting to see how many we get if we add morphs and etiquette and etymology. So twenty-two thousand entries of lemmaer. So. And none of them have been processed as entries because I haven't searched for them morphs yet. So I have any uh, as lemma. So if we add etymology, we only get a tiny and for more. We can make etymology compulsory also just to confirm what the hell we're seeing. Uh, yeah, I need a shortcut for this. Click, 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 click. So yeah, that's interesting. If we make it etymology compulsory, we get only five of these cases that have etymology. Now, what, one of the reasons I'm getting so few results of the 22,000 is two reasons. Is I've turned off certain things just to help. Empty cases. And cases where there's also sub stuff. If I just add those two uh, and remake this optional, we should get a lot more. I need to, why not a lot more? I need to keep my wits about me. That should have turned on a lot more. Option one, option two, option two. That should have really Oh, I know why there's such a big difference. Because they are not all attached to the lemma. They're also attached to def groups. All right. Yeah, so... If we... Um, if we do a def group search... With morphs compulsory. Seven hundred. That's also not a lot. I 
Why am I getting so few of the 22,000? Something else must be turned off somewhere. And I think the other problem is I've restricted it to simple definitions only. And that happens... Technique on simple examples. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Yeah. Comment equals false. Comment three. Comment four. If we enable those now, we should get a lot more matches. I want to enable them one at a time, just to make sure. Because if I enable a rule that says 22,000 results, Here's the problem. Or even 10,000 or 5,000. So now we get 2,500. You know, that's for the main lemma. And if we uh, do def group search, we get 9,000. All right. Still nowhere near 22,000. Uh, it's way too big a difference. If I enable a rule, if I enable some bunch of rules here all at once and I get 10,000 results and I say, okay, batch convert, there's no way I can mentally know that it's doing the right thing because I can't sit and check. I can't cross check. Twenty thousand changes and make sure, make sure it did the right thing in all those cases whereas if I do it piecemeal step by step I okay, turn on one thing and we say okay get a thousand differences I can quickly look at those a thousand scan through the thousand differences so even that's a lot but you know I can cross check and get an idea that okay or 700 Oh, you know, I can get an idea that it's not, you know, there's only so much. Look, I could do it. I could just say, run 20,000 changes and just hope for the best. But, um, not a very conservative approach. There's 100,000 entries that have to be changed, that have to be converted, so... I need to find the right balance between the two. Too conservative and the job takes too long. Too aggressive and we break stuff. So I've made morphs compulsory. I wonder if I already did conversions leaving the lemonder stuff behind. I don't think so. So then why am I getting so few matches? That's the question. Because there's 20. So I want to take this whole thing for now and just... Drop it in a big underscore more field. Load real time parser analyzer. Then I should be able to see why and where it's failing. Like there, it's literally failing there. Because that little p, that little p indicates that my parser rules, which are at the behind the yeah. Managed to match up until there, but no further. So that's where it failed. It failed to recognize this lemmeter underscore. And... Alright, now I could want to undo... Wait. 
let's leave all that common morph and let's go to y uh, aha so this case I think we should basically say anything, any combination of text and italics, as long as you're finding more lemmaders. Okay. A morph separator is either a text node. Or a C-it. So a morph separator is any text node, but actually it can be a sequence. I wonder if it can also just be uh, just a single like, like italics. Let's check. Ah, very rarely. It's not supposed to be, but it can happen. Right, let's um, O M I. Let's pull it in anyway. Or uh, let's call this a moth separator multi. Oh, we don't know. We don't need to do that. Or LMC, I think, underscore, followed by another more separator. So we, that should let us. Okay. Let's comment out those then. So a sequence of these between lemmaders. Okay, and luck. Let's see. Reload the rules. Still not working. I'm not sure that reload is doing the right thing. Let's just say match parser. Come on. Text node, um, I, um, C, I, t. So morphs equals. I don't understand why it's stopping there. It should match all the way to there. Let's just check. Morph is a limiter. Lim limiter, all right. Then a morphs is a text node, comma space, followed by there's the final full stop. Okay, that's a text starts with full stop. Ms Ms equals a morph, which is a limiter element, followed by M2. Which is uh, everything after the initial morph element. M2, and M2 is optional, right? And M2 is an optional separator followed by another morph element. So that's a separator, the stuff between, followed by more M2. I'm not 100% sure that looks right, but anyway, that. Morph comma M2. This could probably be collapsed into one line, but anyway. Should work. 
I'll go wrong. Then I'm off separator. Is a text node or an I element or a followed by more morph separator? Optional additional separator. Looks right. I hope it's not a parser bug. Because it's going to be a pain to debug now. Um, It could be that some of these rules are... I had something called morphs already, so I must just be careful that there aren't morph-related things in here, actually. Because there may be rules that override those rules. I don't think so. Matches the first limiter and that and that and that. Let's just try that again. Load nodes of this type, lemma. And work. What if we don't use the recursion? What if we just say, because there's never more than a few, there's never more than a handful. If there's a problem with the recursion over there, I can test that by just I'll separate a single. Okay. Separate equals more separate one. Followed by an option on more separate one. Okay, let's if this, uh, see if there's a, a sequence. I don't think that's the problem though, because oh right, look, but what's going on right there now? That will match as a definition. That will match as a It's possible, it's not necessarily wrong. That'll match as a definition, that'll match as a Puyama conf. This is where it should fail, something is wrong. Um, Oh. oh, no, I see what's happening. These are just matching as morph separators. Because th this doesn't indicate a match. It just indicates that the parser traversed that tree. That's fine. That's cor actually correct. Um, because... I don't like it, but it's not wrong. But that means my recursion isn't working, and that worries me. Because that should have also done the same thing. Oh, I see why, because that's nonsense. All right. 
yeah that should have looked like that oops a pretty equals yes yes that's silly there's a bug in that's a bug i can see it's a bug um that that or will cause those to be grouped together that's not right i just wasn't thinking more separators more separator one followed by more more separators i mean not that they should do the same job Reload rules. Same story. Okay. Now let's try again. This is why you have to be so careful with these things and not just run them on twenty thousand entries of it willy nilly. Now the seven hundred or two and a half thousand actually becomes three thousand and diff group matches so let's tag all of those and now uh, do a diff group tag and the diff, diff groups and we get a uh, and we tag all so now we've got 4300 of the 22,000 still only about a fifth, a fifth But that could have nothing to do with morphs. It just means there's a lot of cases of stuff after the morph that I'm not here turning. Let's let me try something. Let me try something. I can test that. All right. I can test that by doing this. But I don't like doing this because I've got this mental stack of 10 things I need to undo now. All right. Um, at least I recorded it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't. Um, if I change this. Sorry, this. Wait. Sorry. If I change common, in fact. To do this, if I had a null there, then it'll match morphs. But now it's, it's also going to match. Yeah, let's just do that. So we look for clear all tags, clear all entry tags. Gosh. Um, I added entry there to try and make it a little more user friendly. But because there's 10 different things, you get now node tags, you get the editing tags. Tags are also what in XML are called. Like the word tags is used with five different things. So I'm trying to distinguish clear all entry tags. Anyway, hopefully that makes it more user friendly, but now it's less readable to me. Find all nodes of this type matching parser. From 700, we're now at zero. Wonderful. That obviously didn't do what I meant. <laughs> what I think this is what I meant to do. All right, not no. Just yes, of course not no. Just that. Now it should just match up till the morphs and done. And all nodes of this type that match the parser. This is definitely temporary. Tag all. I can count and cross check which cases are not being found. But let me do def group now. Def groups. Because I have to do these appear under limits and under def groups. Find filter of any type that match parser. Def group. Uh, and tag all of those. Still only 4,500. Fuck. It's way too low. Okay. What I can do now I've got those ones tagged. Okay. So now I can find entries. 
that have like for example a um lemander and refer to or a def group limiter okay oh shit it's not in a fucking btd so i can't filter for it i can add it i've got the database locked see Manage. Concentrate, concentrate. I'm working on the live database. Maybe that's. Lemander. Right, so we want failure lemma with lemmaters and or def group lemmaters but subtract tad entries and we should get 28,000 all right but that's in the overlapping the start overlap in the E section now we should find the ones we didn't catch and we can go look why like I can go to why the pause didn't catch them. I don't see why the pause wouldn't have caught this one. Let's just okay. open the last backup. which I created at the beginning of the stream, just a cross check. I need to start converting these things. I'm going to go back to the sample cases, but I don't want to waste my time. I want to make sure I get this, you know, if there's half, if I get 5,000 more I can catch on this first run, it's probably worthwhile just having a look why. All right, uh, load. No, it's it much the pause. And this one isn't much for the plaza. Why? Of course. No, not of course. Actually, I think I know why. Yes. No. I don't see why, actually. Why is this not matched by the browser? That's an Estelle group, a southern amethyst. Estelle GRP CR. That should match as a sub as a, as a southern first. And option two. If that was commented out, I mean uncommented, then we'd it wouldn't match it. So something is still not right that I don't understand. We have a lemma. Lemma words word. Comma space. Sample. Lemma there. Another lemma there. A simple definition followed by the uh, style group. Why is this not matched? Why not? I'm gonna have a headache soon because I'm just chugging caffeine and I have on an empty stomach. Green tea and a 
energy drink and coffee and fasting all right it's gonna load a fan noise I wonder if it is something to do with greedy pause matching. The greediness of the parser. And the way it either fails on the entire morph. I think so. I think what's happening is the parser is greedy, goes as far as it can, fails, that whole thing fails. But then it carries on looking from here. But why does it fail? Because that should actually succeed. You know why? Because there's ambiguity. But the ambiguity doesn't explore all paths. Because look, that starts at a full stop, but it's also a text node. So what I need is actually text not starts with full stop. I don't have such a thing. Because I don't think we ever have, you know, full sub means end of the lambda rules. What's happening here is this is matching as a separator, and then it fails because this thing doesn't make sense. This then unwinds, but the parser does not explore. But why, why can't we just add it as a parser option to explore that? This or that? How can we? So make make this say this two cases. A limiter or a limiter. Let me just see limiters if they always end the, I wonder if they always end with a full stop. Um, I think so. We can make it ungreedy. What I'm trying to do is try to trick the parser. This is really esoteric. I want to trick the parser into not being greedy by first looking for a final, final limiter. And a final limiter is one followed by, this is really esoteric. Okay. This is actually interesting. All right. I can sort of trick the parser into not being greedy by looking first for a a morph is a final limiter or a mid limiter. Okay. That's not quite right. A mid limiter. Um, so this is not exactly right, but I want something in principle like this. Text starts with full stop, okay. And then we want to have a path at first uh, to use this more mid limiter and a more final limiter. There's two ways I can do this. I can either add something which is quite easy to do and would be really handy. I could just change this text and not starts with. Don't I already have something like that? Text. I may already have something like that. Text starts with. I have text not contains and I have text starts with. And I have. Then I have a regex as well, match regex, atro match regex. 
I could also do it with a regex thing. Text not starts with. See, I had something like that. Or I tried to fiddle with these rules to try and make. So instead of. So we first search for a final limiter before we search for a mid limiter. First, search for final limiter to trick. To try to trick the buzzer into not being greedy and treating full stop non limiter non morph stuff from limiter as limiter separator. As a uh, limiter separator. Not sure if this is gonna work, I don't know. Try to trick the parser into not being greedy. Right, th this is really weird. This is not normal. Okay, a morph is a final limiter or a mid limiter. Okay. And the final limiter. How do we make it stop? That's the question. Um, a morph says either we, I don't think we can do this actually because we're just going to end up with the same problem at a different level. We we can actually solve it by wait can we look we know there's not an infinite number of possible text in between I mean it's very limited I doubt there's more than 10 or 20 nodes there I'm sure I can solve this but it, I think I'm better off not solving it yeah but rather extending the the functionality. Huh. You know, there's another way I could solve, solve it instead of instead of saying text not starts with. I could add a not operator. Keep the rule text starts with, and add a not operator. Okay. Would that work? What is not? This. Why not that? I don't know. Not text that. Wait, there's two things. We can't just say not text start. So we want a text node that doesn't start. Or that's not the same. It's two different things actually. Because that'll. F we want to match. A text node, but a text node that doesn't start with. Not just anything that doesn't start with, otherwise uh, this algorithm would match, because it doesn't start with a full stop, because it's, cause it's an element. So we want it to be a text node. So we want something like is text node and not starts with. Full stop. So we can either extend. There's several different ways we can solve this. All of them, are, I like all of the ideas. I like all of these ideas. Every 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 single thing I just suggested is potentially useful. Okay, but the entry we're trying to find now is you. Let's just make a note of it. Eugeneticus. 
I've locked the database, it's Sunday, nobody here. And I don't want to just them to interfere with my work. So there's several ways I could solve this. I could either just add a not rule. Oh, but that's not. I could add a new text not starts with. Or text match regex. And the regex is um, starts with something that's not a full stop. Okay. Text match regex. That's also useful, but that'll be very useful, but slow. But but I don't want to actually match the node. I want to fail to match the node. So it's not exactly the same thing. We actually want not text match regex. No, we want is text node and Now we want to say not starts with full stop. Actually, yes, sorry, that starts with full stop. Do we have it is text node? The point of it is. There's two different things. Match text node. There's already a thing. Match text node. Okay, that'll match it if it's a text node. And advance. Match plus advance. Is text node equals match. I don't advance. Because it eat. But by, by, by advance, I mean that's up. You know, the 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 parser parses something. Normally, if you're parsing a string, then you you you, you set the parser eats the string as it's or tokens actually, but I'm not parsing. I'm, I'm parsing nodes, not strings. I'm parsing DOM tree. Okay, DOM tree nodes. Uh, is text node? Now the whole concept of is, I could have a whole set of is things, or I could just change the way this whole thing works. I could say. Um, is text node plus plus means match plus advance or something else like is text node could mean match plus advance or we could have it the opposite we could say is text node is text node full stop or something match but then advance so it could either advance by default or um, not. None of this, that's all neither here nor there because that's not how I want to solve it. My gut's saying. Or I could do this. Is text node end? Oh, the end could mean don't advance. And like it, it, text node, comma. And foo means match plus advance. Uh, next rule. While test node and next rule. Match but then advance. Yeah, we want to fail to match. So we want to stop. So that it must be a text node. I want to stop the parsing if it's a text node. So I literally, I think, want text not start. So. Um, starts with, I could also do a regex, so it's more powerful. But um, starts with will be slightly faster. But to get that far, you know, I have to be parsing morphs. I have to be deep in lemmaders. So I don't think it's going to affect performance too negatively to use regex. You know, it's not, although there are 22,000 entries. So uh, text starts with text not contains. Text not contains will match 
a text node that doesn't contain so it's basically something like this that starts with okay that doesn't exist yet This is almost like starts with, but okay, that's the starts with. Um, let's just be very careful here. Not exactly what we want if string because we want it to be a text node it must match if text is not with no then and so if it's no yeah if it's no it mustn't match If it's not null, we also should be testing that it's a text node, but the, the calling thing does this. The, the question is, what do we match? I don't think we should just match nothing. And then the string starts with, the text is null, don't match. Wait, let me just think again. If, if text is null, then don't match, yeah. If text is non null and it starts with the thing. Non-match. No, no, we want to match. That's the point. Because it doesn't start. What? <laughs> right. No, we do want to match. That's our point. No, anyway, we don't want to match. We, if wait, what? Okay, let me wake up. Um, let's just go look at the rules here. Yeah? Or the data. Oh, so, so we have. So that's the point, alright? Let's just put our example here. Yeah. We want so the point of using this is for the separators. So actually, it's really simple. We do it exactly like this, I think. And we just say, and not starts with. If text is null, and it mustn't match. If text is not equal to null, and it doesn't start with the thing, then we match the whole thing. String length minus start pass. Hmm. 
match to end of string. Yeah, basically, match to end of string. So we match the full node if we can. But this looks wrong. This looks like a bug. That should also say this text starts with. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's right. This is wrong. Yes, that. Yo. Oh, okay. So then the, the separator. So let's undo all the stuff about final limiters and mid limiters. The morph is just a, a limiter element. And then the morph separator is instead of just a text node, it's a text that doesn't start with a full stop. Any text that starts with a full stop not a separator it'll match it i mean it yeah sorry it won't match it as a separator let's try that again now now with that eugenicus should match or go further or something Eugeneticus limiter does not match. Damn it, what's happening? Why? Could have something to do with the definition now. Uh, 3800 tag all. Let's just check what the. No, uh, there's no difference. I don't think anything changed. Maybe this was never the problem. Because, oh, I'm sorry, but that looks exactly like it did before. So either 4600. Maybe it was been working all along. Maybe the greediness was never the problem. But something else. Let's just read this again. Uh, it takes no reading. It's more for final plus up. Optional. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, right. More well, final plus up is a text starts with full stop. Um, of separator is a text not starts with full stop. So maybe the greediness, maybe I've done nothing. It's exactly the same. Morph separator is a separated one followed by more morph separator. Oh wait, let's just try that approach again and see if now it makes a difference. Maybe the recursion. No, no, no. Can't be the recursion because. Text not starts with. Unless I made a mistake with a not starts with. Text not starts with. Not starts with. Still not matching. What's M2? Oh, M2 just means more, like another one. Okay. A morph. So, dictionary is an MS. I take a start, the MS, and the end. Why is that optional? Maybe that's the problem. Actually, I don't see how it would make any difference. Okay. Can't 
common is just the worst word followed by that doesn't look right common is a worst word followed by no it looks right worst word followed by this should actually match I really didn't see a problem common five against no common ops Common ops don't come into play anymore because I've turned them off. Common equals reverse search followed by mouse. And if I let my kids use a lemma followed by option one or option two. And option two is a lemma bears followed by common followed by sub element first. Oh yes, now I see why this won't match. Because what we actually want to do blunt that out, blunt that out, and redefine this is just that. Haha, <laughs> that's why it's not matching. I've changed so many things. Boom, matches. That's better, 18,000. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so now the question is, what's the difference between the 22,000 and 18,000? Tag all, now we do the def groups. Add the def groups. Tag all. We got 19,607. That's better, that's, that's, yes. Now we're getting somewhere, and look at that, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stunning. Let's save this tag set. Nineteen thousand, yay. Oops. Okay. Those are all the matching rule names. So it's matching lambda, morph lambda. I want this entire thing, boom, under some structure like underscore morph. Just for now. Mm. Nice, I really like that. We can maybe see if we get slightly more, but just by adding a few more of those. Separate and next, separate and next. Okay, I don't think it's gonna make much difference. Now we go back to that twenty-two thousand. The twenty-two thousand is simply everything with a lambda except the anima converted already. Okay. For 22,000 entries. Okay. So now, how do we subtract this? If we get this from that. <laughs> uh, I need to both use tag sets for both. Um, I know. We simply say if it's oh yeah, we just subtract the tag somehow. Three thousand. There we go. That's what I want to see. This is what I've been trying to see: the ones that we aren't catching, and why. Like that looks really straightforward. Why wouldn't we catch that? It's a really simple case. It's, oh, because there's no comma in front. Interesting. Let's have a look. If there's a lot of these. So that one is a comma, but we're not catching it because there's this shit over there.
This one we are in fact catching. Wait, one of these must be not caught. Hmm? I don't know why that wouldn't be caught. Comma space full stop. That one is obviously I can see why. Like that one's got a semicolon as a start. And you make matters worse, the semicolon's inside the worst left. Because the uh, right, it should show little peas. Oh, because the peas are on the left groups, that's why. Okay, that one is obvious. I can see why. So, the right, actually, no, I can't see why. Oh, because of that comma label before the yeah. so it could be a comma and then a label, and then all right, the actually, just it just means that the comma space. I'm a bit nervous to add anything following the comma. I just want to test it in here. To do. Okay. Comma here again, but there's a space, so and there's brackets. Phew, I wonder if there's a lot of those. Seems to be a lot in this part of the data. Let me save this tag set. Uh, tag set, more complex marks. That one looks straightforward though. Why would that not be caught? I can see. Fuck up where it's left, comma space, full stop. Um, um, yeah, that's just nonsense. Um, this note shouldn't be matched. Oh, it does match it. Text note starting with. Yes, wait a minute. Text starts with full stop. Yeah, it'll match it. It'll match it as text starts with full stop. Partial match. So, uh, why is it not listed showing you as match? Should be showing as much. I don't see why not.
Special commerce plus. I'm off, I'm off. Put by. Okay. I can see it's pausing and stuff. Form one, form one, two. Jitter box separator, optional. Right, my plow. Which is. Open it off. Put it on ten X. Optional separator, another morph, followed by a right. Morph final full stop, but it just text starts with. And the morph separator is a text, not starts with. Or a I or a CH. I can't see why this wouldn't match. Flat powers. Let me just load it again. Maybe it's got something. Maybe I didn't load. Maybe I must reload. Def groups. Diff group, flat powers. It's not matching. Looks like a normal full stop. Let's check that rule is programmed right. Um, text should all be not able to know. Not string starts with. So if it starts with full stop, it just shouldn't match it at all. And then it should be finally matched. But I mean, let's look at some success cases and just see what's matching. How is it different from that? Look. Uh, let's just open the back up, because I need to stuff around a bit. <sighs> See, that one matches correctly, because you've got the rule names there. Final full stop, morph.
like that one matches how is that different any difference is the stuff after it look it matches uh, don't, oh that's weird So as soon as there's stuff after that no, click click that matches fine because we got all our rule names if we add something let's go back and run it no match pauses up to there but it dies weird because text starts with should succeed as long as the text starts. Here. That could be sped up in so many ways, but it's already really fast. It's 207,000 entries, and depending how you count, between 11 and 15 million nodes in the database in the DOM tree. And it just takes a fraction of a few, it's like a second to pause the whole thing. Um, oh, is this not working if I just do that? Let's try something else. What if we add something else afterwards as well, like a B? Okay. So now we got a text that's a final full stop, but then there's a B. The B also causes it to fail. I know. So that's actually I see why the problem. I think um, Probably at our common definition is wrong. Common equals false. Okay. And if I don't my kids. Option one. Looks right. But this problem isn't even fully lemma, it's straight under the def group. Common equals worse search followed by morphs. Let's just check a def group. It is def group, okay? Def group is a LM def group with kids. Kids. There's that damn problem. Fuck's sakes. That we want to temporarily turn off that null. So this was working all along. I was just looking in the wrong place. Okay. Def group. Holy car. So the only cases we're not going to catch now, alright, so sometimes it's a space, alright, so sometimes it starts with a space. And I'm not sure how best to handle the ones that start with a space, okay. I think Start okay. Start equals text node or just a space or an amorph end. Wait a minute, that's 
I think we should I think we should do the bracketed one separately shit that's also a problem area of its own So def group entry matches 2008 tag or lemma matches. I think it might be a good idea to just start processing them straight like this. Toggle. Okay, twenty-one thousand, and then we're what twenty-two thousand. Let's. Okay. So we got our tag set now. Subtract the anima ones and the tagged ones, but look for lemmaders. So I want lemmaders except for the anima and the tagged ones. 1831. So these are the ones that don't yet match. That's, that's a small percentage. That one looks simple. Why wouldn't that match? Oh, because of this shit. Alright, so I'm going to add. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just Error. Sometimes it's before the limit error. Hidden label. Okay, I can just add that to the rules. Um, the I'll be back. I'm going to take a break, a short break, and then I'm going to come back and play some music. Uh, right. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, I think it's short. Just take. Not sure if I'll be back on this site or anyway, but bye bye bye.